bone slice. I don't know what that was. But um, ice cream. And, and I have y'all. And I have my pudding. We say pudding. We don't pudding. say pudding. We say <laughs> pudding. Hey guys, so today I want to show you how to make zucchini fritters. They're very simple to make. There's only a few ingredients, and you can top this with sour cream, cheese, ketchup, anything that you prefer. So, yeah, I'll show you the ingredients. You're gonna need two tablespoons of coconut flour. You're gonna need one stalk of green onion, which is right here. These, some people call these um, like scallions, but they're green onion. And you'll need one large zucchini that you will spiralize into like noodles or you can grate it. Anything that you have in the house. So, zucchini. And once you grate it or spiralize it, it'll come out like noodles. Like just like you guys know I always eat zucchini noodles. I just use the noodle spiralizer and I'm gonna chop them up to make the cakes. You use one whole egg. I use extra large organic cage free. And that's it. That's all you need. And you're gonna top with some sour cream and a little bit of olive oil and I'll show you guys like how that works. All right, as you can see, I chopped up the zucchini and green onion nice and fine just with a knife. Um, that was the noodles, what they looked like before they were chopped up. There's the onion and noodles mixed together. Here I added in two tablespoons of the coconut flour, half a tablespoon of olive oil, extra virgin, one whole egg, and I'm gonna add in some red pepper flakes, paprika and oregano, and mix it all together. If you guys could smell this through the camera, your mouth will be watering. So I made three cakes. I make almost everything on this stovetop grill pan thing by Cuisinart. It is, again, a super lifesaver. I love it. I'm gonna let them just cook. I'll pan sear them both sides. They get nice and crispy. It'll be like a zucchini cake. And I'll top it with two tablespoons of reduced fat sour cream. All right, so these are how the are how the so these are how the case came out. They made three, and they came out nice and crispy. And I'm gonna top it with two tablespoons of sour cream. Can you guys see that? The macros for this are 13 grams of carbs, 11 grams of protein, and 13 grams of fat. Um, and it's definitely a higher fat type of little meal, but I would, there's not that much protein in this. You could add more egg whites to it. I'm gonna include a protein alongside with this because I like to like eat multiple things. I don't like to just eat one thing for one sitting because I'm weird like that. So, but again, you can always add more egg whites if you wanna just eat just the cakes and just be done with that. And so, yeah, this is super simple, easy to make, and it tastes good, it smells good. So if you try this out, definitely let me know, and I hope you guys enjoy it. Let's give it a try. Nailed it. So good. You guys definitely gotta try this. Made some fresh sweet potatoes, these are the Japanese ones. Made some mushrooms. Just just made the ground turkey for me, and this chicken's about to go in the oven. Mm-hmm. All right, so I picked up Jessha's early from school. Luckily, my mom doesn't, or my dad, watches our videos. So, um, she won't find me. I don't know what that was. But um, she ha was, help was helping me like get a lot of things done. So I love having her home. And I take her out as much as I can. And I love to be home, my sister. <laughs> yes, sir. So I had a client call this morning. I got done some emails, video editing, and just cooked a bunch of stuff. Really just trying to get a lot of stuff done today. We are most productive during the day. Yeah. At nighttime, we're like beat. <laughs> mm -hmm. But before I get to the gym, I like to just get a bunch of things done. So food prep, emails, videos, all the time. 
Mm -hmm. And she's emptying the dishwasher. We're gonna eat lunch pretty soon and we're gonna hit the gym. We're training back and shoulders. And I'm gonna do cardio. Yes, sir. Oh, you can tell. Oh, we guys, I mean, okay. Jess Jess lost another pound this morning, which I'm super excited for her. She is killing it. I am so happy. Yes, sir. Yeah, so she is doing her cardio, she's staying on top of her, her meals, and I know by the time summertime comes around, she's gonna feel great. So keep it up, Jess. Thanks, Sam. Love you. Love you too. All right, so I had a killer back and shoulders day. I have incorporated a lot of pause techniques, both with my leg days and upper body days, so I'll pause. When I'm fully engaged, pause in the middle and pause at the end to like tear apart the muscle each movement. So, and then I'll do that for like three, three or four sets, and then the last two sets I'm just doing like six sets of all and stuff. The last two sets I'll do like a really heavy set, and I'll be able to like get the weight out for like three or four reps, a weight that I normally wouldn't have. And the pause techniques this week have really made a huge difference in my training. I'm sore every day and I'm enjoying the fact that I'm getting stronger and I'm seeing these changes quickly. So if you haven't tried any pause techniques, I definitely recommend it. I feel great. So um, after my workout, I had my cake. I had my rice cakes with jelly and cream cheese. I'll be eating my fifth meal in an, about an hour. I just had it, so I had, I had a half hour ago, so I eat my meal like an hour and a half after. And then I eat one meal at morning at night at 9 o'clock. You guys know I eat dinner super late and everybody thinks that's crazy that you can eat dinner late, but it just as long as you're sticking to your numbers, do not worry about it. Jess did her cardio 25 minutes before I ended. I'm having her incorporate cardio more times a week because normally she just weight trains with me and then we leave the gym and she doesn't do cardio maybe like one or twice a week with me So because I always split up my cardio. So now I'm having her get it in and it's making a bigger impact on the goal she has. So I'm really proud of her that she's doing that. And we're gonna just keep plugging every week, always taking pictures, always getting on the scale, and she's just keeping herself accountable. And I just couldn't be more proud. I'm really lucky to have her. I'm lucky to have you. <laughs> All right, so it is like 10.30 and I, I just got done my dinner. I never eat dinner this late, but my sister needed to be picked up from an art class really late, so I blame her. Oh, you apologize. Sorry. And um, I have my dinner really late, so I'm about to eat dessert. I never usually say I have macros left over. Now with like, I have so many carbs, I have macros left over for dessert. So I'm having my, I'm having Arctic Zero Salted Caramel, 120 grams with uh, 18 grams of Cinnamon Toast Crunch. And Jesse's gonna spiralize some more zucchini noodles. And we're watching Let's Make a Deal. <laughs> All right, me and my dad are having breakfast. We're eating pancakes. He's got Quest regular protein pancakes and I have Quest protein pancakes with oatmeal and peanut butter. Say hi. All right. Okay, ready? Mm -hmm. All right, today was a very successful leg day. Mm -hmm. I broke my 225 hip thrust. I did 235 and just really helped me uh, get it up initially from the floor. And I repped out two, mm -hmm. which was pretty awesome. <laughs> and then we did full deadlift. So I didn't put 45 pounds on the ends. I only used 25 and just kept adding 10s to that or like more 25s in order to get lower, stopping at the bottom and driving up through the heels all the way at the top. That makes a huge difference. You're getting a deeper range of motion, engaging the hamstrings even more, and it is a very, very killer movement. Mm -hmm. We did um, split squats. We did that on the Smith machine. We did sumo squats with the dumbbell. We did reverse hack squats, Jesse did. 185. It was awesome. the best. I did three 45 pound plates each side, so that would be 90, 180, 270. 
a lot of weight but I did a few pause sets so I paused the bottom up paused the bottom up mm -hmm. um, for lower amount of weight and then I was able to work up to that weight so we've been practicing a lot of pause techniques in order to improve my strength and I really do feel so much stronger so and then we ended it with seated leg curl we did reverse hypers with a dumbbell I don't know if you guys saw my snapchat but Jesse put some stuff on snapchat for me yeah so we had a very successful leg day yeah and we had our awesome Post workout stuff. I have my ice cream, and, and I have y'all, and I have my pudding. We say pudding. We don't pudding. say pudding. We say pudding. 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 <laughs> she likes chocolate pudding. <laughs> my mom likes her pudding too. <laughs> and then I eat, of course, two more times. I had my ground meat with I love ground beef. And then she had a little sour cream. Oh yeah, sour cream. I'm sorry to incorporate sour cream into my <laughs> diet because I, okay, when me and Jesse were younger, we used to fight over sour cream. Like it was our job. Like we used to like eat like probably a whole container <laughs> each, each. Yeah. So, I mean, we were sour cream obsessed. So now like being able to introduce it back into the diet is pretty awesome. It is awesome. And it fits the macros. So I just measure it out and I enjoyed it. So sour cream and ground beef. If you guys never tried that combo, definitely give it a shot. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> Are you anything else to say? Um, you're the best. <laughs> you the best. Um, so tomorrow's Friday. 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 We are going to be training shoulders and arms. I'm going to have to go and get a picture for my license because my license expired. I have to get my 21 license. Mm -hmm. It's been delaying that forever. So I have to do that and I have to go grocery shopping. I have some plans to send out and Jess Jess is leaving me at night to go play bingo. At a church. She's Miss Cool Thing. And I'll be home with my dada. Mm -hmm. So I just have a lot of work to get done. And we're, me, my dad studies, so I do my work. And we just sit in silence and get work done. <laughs> <laughs> that is my big Friday night. Yeah. All right, so I'm going to close out this vlog. I uh, hope you enjoyed the recipes, some of the workout ideas. And again, if you have any questions, of course, you know you can always reach out to me anytime. <laughs>